everybody and welcome to this week's live. I'm Samriti, your Cosmic Soul Whisperer and today we're going to talk about listening. So it is one of the highest services that we can offer to the universe, to creation, to people around us, to communities uh, and to our relationships. And uh, I wanted to bring this up today because um, recently I had a situation where I wanted to share something and something was going on in my heart and I just wanted to talk about it. So um, I had this friend and she asked me, do you want to have a chat? And uh, I said, yes, yes, of course. And so when we started talking, um, the situation that I was talking about was um, something that she has probably been through way many times than I have. And uh, she probably had way more in insights than I had in that moment. Um, but she followed the sacred act of listening. Hi, Modo, welcome. And uh, in this story, uh, as I continued sharing and she continued listening to me, um, excuse me, I expected that she would come up with some insights or offer me some advice or tell me something to do. Uh, namaste <laughs> and uh, she did not she simply did not she did, she created this sacred space and created the offered her sacred service of listening to me and in that moment when she was listening and holding that sacred space for me welcome Valerie um, I realized that whatever I was talking about had already transformed itself in my mind um, we underestimate the power of sacred listening because uh, we bring it bring up so many other things in our uh, logical mind about how we can add value and how we can provide service to other people through our tips, through our advice, through our insights, through our own experiences. Um, and at the same time, what I have come to realize and what I've come to understand is that um, in any situation, you can never go wrong if you're just listening. But there can be so many things that can go wrong with the way we provide an advice or we provide an insight um, or we the way we participate in that conversation with our own inputs and our own take on it. But if we are listening and we are in the sacred, uh, sa sacred service of just holding and receiving that space for somebody, um, there is there are only lives that have been healed there are only processes that have transformed and uh, nothing bad nothing nothing negative can happen from that space because by then you're already in the space of your heart which does not have duality our brain has duality it has the left hemisphere right the, le the it has the two hemispheres the left hemisphere right hem hemisphere the uh, medulla oblongata i don't know where that would be but mainly the left and the right hemisphere and that's why it's kind of binary in its thinking but the heart is not yeah you might say heart has four chambers uh, but it, from from the point of view of understanding when you're in your heart you know that energy is of coming together it is not of dispersing or diverging it is about coming together and when you listen from here um, it is psychically energetically healing the other person and you're doing you're doing a lot uh, they say that uh, when we speak our brain activity uh, is uh, let's say something i don't remember the numbers but uh, when you're listening your brain activity is much higher compared when you're doing sacred listening your brain activity is much higher compared to just speaking um, and uh, I think I found this data from uh, one of Bashar's conversations. Uh, Bashar is a multidimensional being that is channeled through Daryl Anka. And uh, I really love his teachings and I've been following him for almost a decade now, uh, or maybe more. And uh, some of these really amazing insights have come through him. And uh, uh, in this sacred act of listening, I have noticed that in a lot of times when I have been that sacred listening space for somebody um, a lot of psychic energy has been transferred a lot of uh, insights and visions have come through and our multi-dimensional selves engage in uh, that conversation and take it up from there 
and it provides us that space to do that but the thing is when we are in sacred listening it's not about mentally switching off and going somewhere else it's much harder to do, to do sacred listening than, than to do a conversation and when you try it you'll know what i'm talking about and when you've done it you know it's different from let's say attending a lecture <laughs> and uh, uh, and so i would like um, uh, to put myself on the task or of uh, or to put myself on the resolution of uh, following sacred listening uh, as much as i can especially over the next one week i'm going to observe how much i do that and um, if i come through any uh, other insights i will share with you and if you would like to choose to do that uh, that would be uh, i would love to hear your insights as well thank you thank you so much modo i really appreciate your uh, encouragement and i value your um, insights when we whenever we have in our interactions and uh, with this without much ado i would like to channel some music through my favorite kalimba and uh, i i know that something uh, some sound medicine is going to come through uh, which would help us be heart centered when we have the intention of listening to somebody so uh, if you want to program yourself for being able to be a sacred witness being able to be a sacred listener to someone uh, you can use this sound medicine uh, to help you tune into that um, very beautifully if you need help <laughs> okay Thank you so much and thank you for being a part of today's session. Welcome Akhtamur and uh, um, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful week and uh, hope that you can practice more sacred listening for your own thoughts and for the thoughts of others. See you. <laughs>